Disney Parks has released new concept art for Oga's Cantina, which will be part of the Star Wars-themed land Galaxy's Edge, and will be the first Disneyland attraction to serve alcohol. After first announcing plans to make a Star Wars-themed land at Disneyland and Walt Disney World, Disney Parks revealed in May that Galaxy's Edge will be setting Black Spire Outpost on the planet of Batu. Black Spire Outpost was described as an infamous hangout for smugglers, traders and adventurers traveling around the outer rim and wild space. The outpost is also said to be off the beaten path, nestled among the petrified remains of the ancient spire trees. With previously released concept art showcasing the Millennium Falcon navigating its way through the spires, Black Spire Outpost is known for its several colorful characters many of which visitors may likely encounter in Oga's Cantina. Related, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens at Disneyland in summer 2019. The Disney Parks blog revealed the new concept art today, along with a description of Oga's Cantina, which confirms there will be choices for kids and libations for adults. Galaxy's Edge will also be opening at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Next year, where, earlier this year, Disney lifted the long-standing alcohol ban at all Magic Kingdom restaurants, so there will already be a precedent in place when Ogus Cantina opens there. For the Disneyland Cantina, though, its opening will mark the start of a new era. It will be the first time that alcohol will be served to the public inside the main park. Ogus Cantina will be serving pilots, bounty hunters, smugglers, locals and galactic travelers alike. When it opens in hashtag Star Wars hashtag Galaxy's Edge in 2019, o.co slash itmum 6 slash 5z6clrjmxw The blog also reveals the cantina is owned by an alien proprietor named Ogagara who has put in place a strict code of conduct to keep its unsavory inhabitants on their best behavior, with the bar described as a safe haven for smugglers hiding out from the law. While the drink menu has yet to be revealed, Oga's Cantina is said to serve cocktails that are made from exotic ingredients and served in unique vessels. There will also be entertainment on hand in the form of RX-4, the droid who Star Tours patrons will remember as the Star Speeder 3000 pilot. This droid has now reinvented himself as the cantina's chatty DJ, who will provide entertainment for guests. Disneyland's no-alcohol policy was initiated by Walt Disney himself when the resort first opened in 1955 and the tradition was carried over to Walt Disney World in Orlando when that opened in 1971, five years after Disney's death. While some Disney purists may cry foul, it was only a matter of time before this happened. Walt Disney World started selling alcohol at the Air Guest Restaurant in 2012, with alcohol service expanding to other restaurants in 2016 before the announcement in May that all. Disney World restaurants would start serving it. When Ogus Cantina opens in 2019, it may not take long for all of Disneyland's restaurants to start selling booze. As a decades-old tradition comes to an end. After all, Disney's California Adventure Park is already known for serving alcohol to park guests. Source. Disney Parks blog tags. Star Wars. Disney Parks.